And so, hello ladies and gentlemen, people in between. This is it, this is the final sanitarium. Winter Open has been going now since uh, yesterday. This is the second day. We've seen the semi-finals, we've seen the third place being decided, and now, now it's the final match. The final battle between Izzy Kakarot and Agtheo. Uh, two people who have uh, fought their way from the... Um, the eight people brackets all the way up here. Now we will see who gets to who gets to go away with that grand prize, first place, and who will uh, go away with the second prize, which uh, isn't actually isn't actually all that much uh, less, to be honest. Still pretty good prizes. Both these people have done very well to get to the point that they have got to. And here we go. Time to start spectating. Luther versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I will. So we have Izzy Kakaros, the paladin, versus Agtheo, the priest. This well looks to met. be a really good battle. Greetings. Polite greetings to start off. Is someone injured? So, Northshire Cleric, the first out on the field. Shielded Minibot is up next with his Divine Shield. We have Card Draw versus Divine Shield. Of course, pre specific spell card, sh Shadow Wood Pain, takes care of the Shielded Minibot without even having to pop the shield. And a little bit of damage goes to Izzy face. Three mana now to use. And uh, not really that many effective ways to use it all. To be fair. Considering using the old old peacekeeper anyway. Got the old old peacekeeper out there anyway, even though uh, the battle cry ability doesn't really have uh, an awful lot of effect. But still, the old old peacekeeper is a 3 3 versus the 1 3 out there. And Agtheo plays uh, the Twilight Guardian, the Golden Twilight Guardian, that did so well for him in his previous battles. But an IB Cowl is out there that could uh, quieten things down if. Izzy feels as if he needs to. And obviously he does. Breaking the taunt, taking care of the cleric and summoning a recruit to the field with a reinforce. That dragon on the field, still a 2-6 though. Takes care of the old old peacekeeper. Blackwing Technician is on the field and gets its power buff from the dragons in the hand. Power Word Shield goes on to the uh, Twilight Guardian. More health and another card for Agtheo. Five mana now. He's debating any quality. What are you going to do though? Is he? It is your choice. Chooses to use the equality. All creatures now have only one health. Decides to clear the board and use a reinforce to get a recruit on the field. Izzy Kakarot now has the board, if only slightly. Ran Bronzebeard is now out on the field. The Wormrest agent with the battle cry that triggered twice means uh, twice the power but not twice the taunt it's only only one taunt there easy Kakarot using my favourite uh, paladin murloc move there put out the murloc knight inspire and uh, get another murloc out of it whether or not, that, uh, whether or not that, that was the best move to make we will see Actio debating his next move. 
got two twilight it got uh, two little uh, yeah twilight whelps in his hand a shadow word death and the Cro-Magius. takes care of one murloc takes care of one recruit twilight whelp on the field gets its power up twice because random bronze beard is uh, doing its work and here comes the other Twilight Whelp. You can see how effective Rans Bronzebeard can be on the field now. And uh, Izzy Kakarot has to think about what he is going to do. One day I'll be a real knight. Lowly Squire is out on the field. Reinforce happens, powering up the uh, Squire and also bringing another random Murloc to the field. The Seal of Champions has been applied. There goes Bran, Bronzebeard and the Taunt. Leaving Agtheo with two uh, Twilight Whelps with quite a lot of health. A Twilight Guardian comes out to protect the Whelps though. One of the Whelps takes care of the Murloc Knight. The one takes care of the powered up recruit. The most damage of those whelps gets a heal. Still not back up to full health, but it is still uh still got quite a lot of health for such a small dragon. Easy Kakarot now debating what to do. You've got eight mana. How are you going to use it? True Silver Champion. It's been applied. It will only take one damage from this because of the heal. Uses the other Murloc to break the taunt. Reinforce happens, which will power up the uh, Squire even more. Take care of that whelp. And uh, that is the job done indeed. Rob takes care of one of the recruits. Cormagius is on the field. That's a big dragon with two mouths. And it's very purple. Uh, so, Izzy Kakarot does have a few options here as far as creatures go. Choosing okay. to use a Lord of the Arena, which is quite a big taunt card there. And a Reinforce. Chooses not to use the uh, weapon though. Chromagius generating the extra technician there for Agtheo's hand. Shadow Word Death comes into play. And uh, the taunt is broken. Chromagius uh, takes care of the recruit and is healed up. And that is that turn done. Another Murloc Knight emerges. Uh, once again, uh, he does have some choice here. Okay. It's uh, oh. something to say that, the, that even, even though there's been a lot of back and forth, not really much uh, hero damage done at the moment. And Raggy is still generating those extra cards, but he doesn't. Once Agio doesn't actually have a dragon to combo with them with. Shugmice uh, uh, takes care a little bit. That one of the Black Wind te technicians comes out anyway, and one of the Worm Wrath agents. Oh, Izzy has drawn Ragnaros the Fire Lord. Will he use him though? Only time will tell. Of course, the uh, the problem with Ragnaros is it can't actually attack itself, but will do eight damage to a random enemy. And of course, ran it Let random. Me being a thing in this game, you know, you've got to rely on the RNG. And RNG is not always kind for you, ladies, gentlemen, people in between. Oh, that's a good Murloc to get off the night. Old Murkai is on the field. Romagius is off the field. Oh, and an explosive sheep. So, uh, just before the rope comes, 
Right, so Axio has a holy nova there, but can't use it because, uh, well, it wouldn't really be it wouldn't really be terribly efficient. Shooting to take care of. Shooting uh, to take care of everything. That was actually quite a good play. Keeping the one rest agent on the field, but everything else is down. Taking a chance on the joust is easy. Oh, didn't win the joust. It was a draw. That was a mistake. Indeed. My apologies. Thank you. So a little bit of polite banter there from our uh, contestants. Debating using the worm rest agents to ca take care of the recruits and does so. Still no dragon to combo with the other technician and the worm rest agent though. The one on the field is now full HP though. Is he debating using the cock hammer? Reinforces. And brings out Ragnaros the Fire Lord. And of course there's only one place it can really go. Agtheo needs to do something quick. Unfortunately, his hand is not helping him at the moment. Got a whole bunch of cards, that it got at least three cards there that will combo well with the dragon in hand, but there aren't any dragons in hand. Two Holy Novas, which, uh, well, again, it won't it won't really do an awful lot. Actio is a little bit stuck right now. Choose to play the Corruptor and the Wood. No, choose to play all three of them without a Dragon to combo. And there's that gadget and Jouster. We saw previously in the Joust. The recruit breaks itself on the technician. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, now I know why you broke your your recruit. You wanted it to go on one of the two more powerful ones. Okay, here's another joust. A joust that Izzy has won. Getting a more powerful uh, jouster there for one cost mana. Use the cog hammer and uh, takes care of the corruptor. Is someone injured? Here's an Ulshire cleric. One holy nova goes off. Lesser healed himself. And finally, there is a dragon in hand to combo, which is a shame because all the dragon combo creatures were played a few turns back. Uh. However, Izzy Kakarot is also running a bit low on hand, and uh, therefore running a little bit lower on options as well. Debating using the antique, the antique heal bot because uh, he's not really damaged enough for it to use, get its fullest potential. Choosing to uh, take care of all that. Another eight damage to the face. Hmm. That wouldn't really be much use for um, for uh, Agthea right now. There's only one creature on the field that actually meets that. So it's a, a one-one. But the Holy Nova does wipe most of the board, with the exception of Ragnaros. Who remained stuck on the field? Another gadget and joust was out. Oh, another joust win. I'm not entirely sure how is he is managing to win these jousts. I'm not very good at jousts myself. I, I rely more on Inspire because Inspire is more uh, 
you can count more on this, I guess. Uh, so Agtheo down to nine HP. Gonna have to do something quick. Can't even really use the light bomb because I must if it does, then uh, the dragon's gonna go down. Could use the power word shield first though, and uh, nope. There we go. She just to wipe the board, heal up a little bit. Uh, Master Joust was on the field. Was oh, didn't win that Joust there. The Gadgets and Jousters have been reliable for Izzy. The Master Jousters, not so much, which is kind of ironic when you think about it. <laughs> huh, okay. Another light bomb is in Agtheo's hand. He's, uh, he's got three cards in his hand, while Izzy only has the one. Let me change Choosing to play the Cabal, Shadow Priest, and take control of the Recruit. Powered shields up the Shadow Priest. And draws a Ysera! Oh, that could, that could uh, turn things around. We will see. Master Jouster and uh, Korkhammer take care of the Shadow Priest. Antique Healbot comes in with a full H Reporting HP heal. Reinforce happens. Now, is Agatha going to play you serious straight away or is it going to combo off the uh, Shadow Wing Corruptor? That is the question. Using the light bomb to wipe the field and heal up. Gambling on is he not really having anything good in his hand? And uh, and uh, actually, yeah, that's that's kind of what's happening here. Unfortunately, is he only has the big game hunter. For duty. Nothing really to play it against. So he chooses to just reinforce. I do and here is Yusira on the field. Generating a dream card, and unfortunately only has four attack points, so it's not big enough for the big game hunter to have a go at. Is he de debating whether or not to peacekeeper it? And does so. Summons another 1-1 one, one silver hand recruit. Debating... Uh, whether or not to put out the big game hunter. Chooses not to. I wield the, power. the Black Queen Corruptor comes out, does its three damage, takes care of the Peacekeeper. Two recruits on the field. You sure can take care of quite easily. Heals up a little bit. Another dream card has been generated. Of course, you see it's very, very dangerous if you're playing against it because he does generate those dream cards, which are very good value for mana. Is he is considering now? Chooses to reinforce. Muster for battle. More recruits on the field. Choosing to go for face. No, choosing to go for Ysira. Decided that Ysira must go off the field. Oh, but Agtheo at this point is running out of cards. Let's see, how many cards remain in each deck? There's one card in Agtheo's deck where Izzy has six. So soon Agtheo will begin to take fatigue damage. It's been quite a long ma it's been quite a long uh, round, ladies and gentlemen. Quite a long match. That's why Drake comes out, gets a uh, slight health boost, and uh Yusura becomes Velen's chosen. And with that, Agtheo is choosing to go for face. Agtheo needs to finish this quickly, because otherwise fatigue damage might catch up with him.
Oh, Quartermaster is out. Powering up all those recruits. There's four recruits there. That was a really good that 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 Quartermaster got incredible value. Like the, like there's 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 few better. Well, there's not really too much better you can get realistically. I mean, you could get you could have more recruits on the field, but you know, even keeping one on there is sometimes a challenge. So. Excuse me. Throwing all those recruits into you, Sarah. Goodbye, Dreaming Dragon. Oh, Agdio is now out of cards. Fatigue damage will begin happening on his next turn. Heals up the uh, Blackwing Corruptor. Takes care of the Quartermaster. Is there trouble? Right, a Laughing Sister is out. Cannot be targeted by spells or hero powers. Yeah. Heals all Drake is also down. Oh! Agatha has taken some damage. Well played. Izzy is saying well played. The victory is and has given up. Well so round one goes to Agthio. That match went back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you will agree that out of all the matches we have seen so far, that one was by far the longest and the one and the one that team that you had no idea who was going to win because it kept going back and forth, back and forth. Sweeping up minion dust. So Agtheo sticks with the priest, Izzy Kakarot playing with a warlock deck and gets the extra card. This could be the final match. If Agtheo wins this then Agtheo will take first place. But if Izzy wins this then we will have one more match to determine who will win the entire tournament. Isn't it, isn't it exciting, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> so Agtheo goes first. Uh, only has one one cost card. Cannot actually play it properly. So uh, passes on Izzy Kakarot. Plays the Voidwalker. And then coins into a Blood Imp. A very good early play, that one. Because, you know, it's in stealth, so you can't be hit. And it just keeps Are buffing you up your uh, creatures. The agent there gets its, uh, its ability, its buff. It's now a 2 4 taunt. Haunted Creeper is now on the field with its death rattle of the spectral spiders. Is he has to determine whether or not he wants to use his Void Walker to chip away. No, he does not. Blood Imp gives health to the spider. More health to the Wimus agent. Card has been drawn, hit as a light bomb. Lesser heal heals up the Wimus agent. There's an implosion there. Use the life tap to draw another card. Get in there and fight, maggot. Uses his abusive sergeant to get that spider. Get that spider doing stuff, basically. Uh, the bl blood imp uh, has generated just a little bit more HP to the spider. Agtheo continues to buff up his taunt, draw another card, and there goes the Voidwalker. Damage has been healed up on the agent. A knife juggler comes out into Izzy's hand. It's got four mana. Uh, it's got a few different ways to use it. Let's see what he's going to do. Implosion! Three damage, three imps. And uh, enough to basically uh, get rid of the agent. 
But, uh, Akito does have quite a full hand. And even though Izzy is the only one with minions on the field, they are all uh, very small minions indeed. 4-4 four, four comes out. It's Izzy's turn. Uses Defender of Argus. Suddenly, one Imp and one Spectral Spider are much more powerful. But uh, chooses to use his taunt, powered up taunt, to get rid of that big dragon. And then go for face. The other Spectral Spider has just got a little bit of a boost. Blackwing Corruptor is coming out. Uses its ability, deals four, no, three damage to Defender of Argus. That's out of the way. Put this apple on your head. Knife Juggler comes out. Die Wolf Alpha to buff up uh, those creatures. Special Spider is down. A buffed up imp does uh, the stuff. And uh, throws in a Nerubian egg there so that the. Uh, the blood imp doesn't feel as if he has to attack. But the Nerubian egg sure can. In the Nerubian egg, as you know, once that's popped, you get a 4 4 Nerubian. Which, uh, which means that, uh, quite basically, you don't particularly want to attack it if you're against it. Because 4 4. Even though a 4 4 maybe might not be the best in the world, it's certainly not something you to sneeze at. Is someone injured? However, now a lot of the damage has been just wiped off the field there. Does some life tapping to see if he can uh, tap out a new card. There's another soul fire. Something's gonna have to be discarded. Oh. And there's the other soul fire. A soul fire for a soul fire. Is that value? I don't know. Chooses not to abuse of Sergeant the egg. Blood Imp is powering the egg up, giving it more health, which is not exactly what, really what you want. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Chromagius out on the field, two jaws, purple skin, very dangerous. Life taps to get another card. Like Novice engineer out, draws another card. Get in there fight, Abusive sergeants, the egg. The egg runs into Chromagius and hatches the Nerubian. Flame Imp. Cheap play, but it does come with that disadvantage of damaging you. So the second Holy Nerve had been generated by Chromagius there for Agthio's hand. Agthio has a hand which is getting quite full. So Chromagius' Chroma ability might actually end up meaning that some cards get discarded. Now this Holy Nova would actually hit the Blood Imp. Uh, at the moment, Agatheo has quite the full hand, while well, Izzy Kakarot only has two in the hand. Hmm. We will see if this uh, goes well. Oh! Izzy has just drawn a Doom Guard. That could be what he needs. But he has to decide which two he'd want to uh, give up. Now you see, the Tiny Knight of Evil will actually get more powerful when these two cards get uh, discarded. But is he hot hes hesitating? <laughs> Does he want to throw away a knife juggler and an iron beak? Not really, but he does so anyway. So now uh, evil gets more powerful. Chromagius is off the field. There is Doom Guard there. Uh, Agtheo has got to decide what he wants to do. 
And still got quite a full hand there with Yusira on top. So it's not as if he has few options. And Light Bomb takes care of that hand. And now unfortunately Izzy is actually top decking. This is not a situation you really want to be in. Life taps. Can't do anything. I dream and the world trends. Yusura is out on the field. There's a haunted creeper. Life taps. Ooh, a hellfire there. Haunted creeper out. Is it going to be enough? Let no, the Cabal Shadow the Priest has come out and hijacked the spider. Twilight Drake comes out, makes use of that uh, very full hand. Defender Varg is out here, not, not uh, all that useful. And Izzy has conceded 2-0 to Actheo. Actheo has emerged as our winner of the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, you have your victor. Well then, Actheo, you have done... Uh, basically, basically, you've done it. You've won the first place. And uh, commiserations to Izzy Kakarot. You've done uh, you know, an absolutely flipping brilliant job. You have come in second. You have come in second, and uh, that's that's uh, nothing to sneeze at. You still got a very good prize, of course. Ziost was third, Mike fourth, and uh, well, but it, but for everybody who took part in this tournament, you know, you've been absolutely flipping excellent. You've all played extremely well, and uh, there's no shame in in any of your matches or anything like that. You've played all played excellently. So let's have a round of applause for them all. I don't have a I don't have a I don't have an applause sound bite, so just just pretend there's one playing. Or applaud in the chat, that works as well. Woo yay. Huh. So I think I think I think that does actually uh do us for uh now. Thank you for coming along for our first um our first properly organized fan tournament. Um Obviously, we are the Sanitarium.fm Gamer Radio, and uh, here to entertain you as much as possible. Uh, remember to tune in um, at www.sanitarium.fm uh, because, well, yeah, we're we're here. We do shows. We play good music for you, and every now and then we do put on tournaments like this. We're not entirely sure when our next one is going to be. It'll be sometime in the new year, obviously. And of course, keep your eyes pinned to the so, not pinned to the social networks. Keep them, basically, keep looking at the social networks. We will tell you when our next, uh, we'll tell you when our next tournament will be arranged, and uh, we'll open up registrations then. And uh, yes, it's been an amazing two days. Obviously, I'm the predicted cyborg. I've been your commentator. Thank you very much to both Scarlet Dragon and Dimebot. Uh, for coming along and co-commentating with me for a while. Thank you, Sloane, for um, taking care of organisational stuff. Thank you all to you all for coming along and uh, basically watching us, making some song requests when we've had the songs on uh, in between. Uh, thank you to all the players, obviously, for putting on uh, for putting on the um, great matches and making this a good success. And well, yeah, there's not there's not really much more for me to say, and my voice is beginning to go a little bit croaky. So this would probably be a very good place to uh, wrap it up for now. Uh, reminder to uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll have um, we'll have our shows. I'll be doing random access music, and then we'll be doing the top ten show. Keep your eyes on the schedule to find out when those will be, and uh, obviously. Obviously, uh, as I say, keep your eyes on the social network and we will tell you when our next tournament will be. I've enjoyed it. I hope you've all enjoyed it as well. 
Uh, so from me, Predicted Cyborg, and all of us here at the Sanitarium.fm, thank you, and good night, or good afternoon, or good morning, good time of day, whatever the, wherever the hell you are.